I would feel comfortable with cementing it, like, if we have a boy, I would name it that. because I kind of came up with this recipe, well, recipe, quotation marks, <laughs> on my own. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out really good and I'm really excited to give it a try. The one thing that I would have probably added but um, we didn't have any is uh, some Parmesan cheese. I wish we had some Parmesan cheese to throw on there because I think that would be really tasty. But yeah, I think it'll be yummy nonetheless. It's just basically um, pasta and a whole bunch of different veggies. Uh, I cooked the sweet peas and the broccoli. Um, the broccoli I cooked very lightly, so it still has a little bit of crunch to it. And then the carrot sticks and the cucumbers are raw, and then I just threw in some pine nuts. And yeah, sh oh, and yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> and But yeah, should be a really super tasty, healthy lunch, and I made a ton, so I should have more than enough for the next, like, at least five days, I would think. So yeah, really excited, and let's see if it is any good. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Um, I thought about getting like a light vinaigrette or dressing to put on it for a little bit, but I decided against it because I couldn't really pick one that I wanted while I was at the grocery store. So I just put a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar on it and it is like perfect. It tastes so good. <laughs> Highly recommend this. Um, again, I just kind of made this recipe up so I don't have anything to like I don't have like a recipe link to share with you guys, but it's super simple. So yeah, I highly suggest this. Ooh, also, so I remembered what I was like planning on telling you last night that I couldn't like think of or remember. I remembered it today. So I wanted to tell you guys that Miles and I found a boy name that I like, we haven't said like 100%, oh, if we're having a boy, it's being named this. Like it's not that concrete, but we have found a name. It's a first and middle name that both of us really, really like and are seriously considering if it's a boy. So I'm not gonna say it yet. I, we, we still haven't decided how we would want to do a name reveal. Um, if we wanna do it, you know, as soon as we pick the name after we find out the gender, or if we would want to save like revealing the name until the baby is born or like, what we want to do with that. We haven't decided yet, I don't know, but I did want to share that we have found like a first and middle name for a boy that we both really, really like and are definitely, it's definitely like in the ring of considerations for if we have a boy, which is really exciting. But I will also say, I feel like I've started having more and more like, they say that moms have like an intuition about what they're having um, and that they kind of just like know and so for a while, like when I was first pregnant, I didn't really have anything like at all. I was just like, I have no idea. But I feel like over the last couple of days, it's kind of like slowly started to grow that I think I'm having a girl. And like when I'm like typing comments, I kind of, I want to like, my automatic like gut re like response is to say she. And like normal, I don't know. I just, I don't know. That's going to be my initial like, mom guess is it's a girl um 
but that's also not fair because I know I've always wanted a girl like my entire life <laughs> but I would I would be more than happy with a boy I'm not saying like I want a girl and I don't know but yeah I always have wanted a girl so I don't know if it's that kind of influencing it but I've really been trying not to let that influence my like you know mom sense I guess and I really don't think it has because like for like I was saying for a while I really didn't have any thoughts um one way or the other about what it would be but then over the last couple of days it really has kind of started feeling like a girl and the funny thing is though is because like like I was saying like I've always just sorry if you can hear like I, I think my neighbor's like uh mowing his lawn or something working on his yard but um like I said I've always like just really I knew I wanted a daughter at some point I knew I wanted a girl um and like I was kind of like more scared of having a boy just because like I don't know I don't know anything about boys like I wasn't a boy so I feel like I just know more about wow that's really loud I hope you guys <laughs> I hope that's not as loud for you guys um but like I don't know anything about having a boy or like what boys really need like I just feel like I have much more of a grasp about like how I want to raise a girl so I think that's like has been my major like I don't know hang up but ever since like oh also I just like couldn't imagine having a boy because again like I'm a, obviously a girl I grew up with a sister like I had we just had us two girls and so like I never even grew up with another boy and so I just like have no idea what boys are like and so yeah I think that just kind of scared me away from being able to like think about or comprehend having a boy but um after coming up with the name like this name has been in my mind for like months before we conceived the baby and um yeah I, I definitely left, like came up with it probably like at least six months ago I don't know but we um and Miles and I have kind of like talked about it back and forth but I think I only just shared my middle name thought for that name with Miles last night and he really really liked it too so yeah where was I going Oh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, so since, like, kind of really thinking of that first and middle name combination and being able to picture it, like, again, with our last name, too, as, like, a full name and kind of being able to picture it as a more, like, as a formed person, I guess. I don't know if this is making any sense, but it made the idea of having a boy a little less scary and kind of, like, you know, I guess personalized it. I don't know. I'm going to stop rambling. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um... Yes. <laughs> I do really want to know what you guys think the baby is though, so leave me a comment down below whether you think it's a boy or a girl. Um, I'm just really interested to see what you guys think, so yeah, let me know. <laughs> okay, so I was able to set up a tour with the second hospital that I'm currently considering. I think I'm deciding between two hospitals. I think I've narrowed it down and I actually have the tours scheduled of each of their respective labor and delivery units set back to back, so one I have on a Wednesday, like next Wednesday, yeah, next Wednesday I'm one I have next Thursday, and then next Friday I have our first ultrasound, which I am so beyond excited about. I like I can't wait. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I hope um that those tours can kind of help me make a decision about which hospital I want to give birth at. Also, one of the hospitals, it does have a brand new labor and delivery unit that said it was supposed to open in October, like this year, and so I really hope that the tour is of the new unit because it has some things like it has a laboring tub, which I think it would be amazing to labor in a bathtub. I don't really have any interest in a water birth, but um, water labor does sound really, really nice and relaxing. So that would definitely be a major perk. And that's also a hospital that has midwives available to it to choose from. And I don't know, I just really love the idea of a midwife over an OB because I just feel like, um, and also the like, kind of feedback I guess I've been getting from others like in that um, mom's Facebook group that I've been talking about and just um, others in general that with a midwife you get a much more kind of holistic treatment like they don't just like OBs are kind of like in and out and they just say okay you know here's your weight here's your baby's heartbeat here you know do you have any questions whatever and then like leave but I feel like with a midwife you get more of a like I don't know I don't want to say more caring because that seems like OBs don't care and I'm sure that they really really do but it's just a different relationship and so I would if possible really really like to have my prenatal care and birth um done by a midwife so anyways I am leaning towards this one hospital um but yeah anyways I'm really excited to tour, to tour both of them but now um I also just finished kind of getting my YNAB budget up to date I'm still really really loving it and it has been like I feel like it's been exactly 
It's fixing the areas that Miles and I have been struggling with our budget in the last couple of years. We've tried like different techniques to kind of, you know, help ourselves to, I don't know, just budget better. And we were just always missing this one piece. And so it never really fully worked. And like, I mean, it's not like we were like making horrible financial decisions, but just like we could, there was room for improvement and we just couldn't figure out how to get a budget working for us to be like an optimal system. So if that makes any sense, I feel like I'm not making any sense, but yeah, YNAB has definitely hit that spot. And I feel like it's just, our budget is so much more locked up and we're so much more like on top of our money and just understanding where it's going. And like, you know, when we decide, you know, oh, I want to order out tonight. Like, okay, well, do we have the money for that? We actually have something to like concretely look at and say like, yes, we do. Or no, we don't, you know? So I don't know. I've been loving it. I know I've talked about it a couple of times here on the vlog, but I just kind of wanted to reiterate if you're looking for an awesome budgeting tool, highly recommend. Again, not like sponsored or affiliated or anything, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually sit down and start writing out notes for a video that I'm hoping to film tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a wedding tips video, and this is a video that I've been wanting to film since my wedding, which was over a year ago, so it's way overdue, but um, I feel like I have some really good tips that you don't really hear a lot, you know, out in other areas. Like, I certainly didn't when I was planning my wedding, and so I really want to share kind of my experience and what I learned from planning a wedding, and yeah, the tips and tricks that I kind of picked up along the way with anyone else who might be planning a wedding if it's useful to them. So yeah, I'm going to start kind of just outlining that video. So I'm all prepped and ready to film it tomorrow. All right. So it's a little later. Miles is home. He's currently painting the bathroom and I'm kind of hanging out on the couch again. Um, I read um, the most like another, the mo I don't know what I was going with that. I read another chapter of uh, what to expect while you're expecting. And now I'm kind of just like laying here and taking it easy, relaxing a little bit, kind of closing my eyes. But I just realized like I'm going to miss when Munchkin won't fit here anymore because I'm going to have a big old belly. And we're not going to be able to snuggle. Yeah, isn't that so sad? Isn't that so sad, Munchkin? I'm going to miss you. Yeah, you're not going to be able to fit around my big old belly. What do you think? Huh? Not for long, though. Yeah. Not for long. And then we'll have the baby. And then we can snuggle to our heart's content. All three of us. What do you think about that? Yeah, does that sound good? Okay, it's a plan. What you got there? <laughs> An air mattress. An air mattress? What you got the air mattress for? Camping. Cool. Clamping. Glamping. Clamp glamping with the guys. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Munchkin? Come here. There's an air mattress in the middle of your living room. Come on. <laughs> hey, I don't want your butt. What is it? Huh? <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah, let's lick the couch. That's a good idea, you little weirdo. What are you doing? doing? <laughs> Dakota. Like, why? Why, dog? If you're hungry, we'll give you dinner. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Dakota, that's enough. Hey, Dakota! <laughs> Would you wipe your hand there or something after you <laughs> ate the chips? Maybe. I'm like, I have veggie sticks, so maybe it has like salt on the couch or something. Hey, you're weird. Come here. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. You have stinky breath. Go get him. So, Miles finished priming today. Finished priming. Two layers of primer in the bathroom. So, One officially can start painting tomorrow. And hopefully yep. finishes it before he leaves for camping. Hopefully. I gotta get two coats of paint on. Fingers Once crossed. The paint dries. The first coat dries. Fairly quickly. Like right before we go to bed. I yeah. Know. It doesn't matter. Excellent. I just need that first coat to dry. Yep. I might go into work early tomorrow so I can get home early. That's a good call. Because you also have stuff you have to do after work before yeah. camping. Good idea. All right. You ready for dinner? Yeah. Your pregnant wife is starving. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, we are actually having the like pasta veggie salad that I made with some of the leftover rotisserie chicken on top. So I'm really, really excited. It was super good for lunch. And I think it'll be also really, really good with like a chicken, you know, protein added in it. So yeah, super excited about that. Are you excited to try my salad that I made? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm excited for you to try it. It was really good. Hi, Munchkin. <laughs> are you a little snuggle bump? Huh? All right, well, you got to go down at some point. Nope. Nope. 
You're living there now? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that time of night, heading on up to bed. We've been successfully stopping what we're doing and going up to bed at 9.30. Except last night. What did we do last night, didn't we? That was like 10.45. Oh yeah, last night was super late. Well, that's, but that's that was because it was a weird day. Like, yeah. Made the pulled pork and yeah. did the tea of the uh, bathroom. Yeah, yeah yesterday was a weird day. That doesn't count, but yeah. Ooh. <sighs> <sighs> it's 9.30 now and I can barely make it to 9.30, so. You were falling asleep earlier. You were falling asleep on the couch while I was painting the bathroom. I know. I need, like, a daily, like, I wasn't falling asleep. I was just kind of, like, laying there and letting my eyes close and just relaxing. Yeah. Which, like, sometimes I need a nap. Like, I need to be asleep, but sometimes that's enough to kind of, like, re-energize me. So. I gotta figure something out. I guess hopefully going to bed early helps. I literally, yeah. like, I, like, have to force myself to stay awake driving home. It's like so unsafe. It's not even funny. <laughs> oh baby, don't tell me that. <sighs> like, I literally all I want to do is like pull over and just like go to sleep on the side of the highway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <neat. laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I also worked on, we like finally decided to actually set up like a family calendar thing. So... Yeah. <sighs> I've been getting, like, the family sharing between our phones set up and, like, setting up a family calendar that both of us can obviously add to since, like, we're going to start having a whole lot of appointments um, with this whole pregnancy thing. And it's just a good idea in general to, like, have a, you know, one calendar. Like, it's something we've wanted to do for a while, just never, like, cared enough to actually get around to doing. Yeah, so I think I tried once with, like, Google. Yeah. But. But I don't, Yeah. So, you don't use Google. Yeah, exactly. But, like, I feel like the iPhone calendar, like, I'll, I, I'll use this. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, you know, just kind of one place for us to put in all of our appointments, like, all of our anything so that we kind of always know what's on the agenda and stuff like that, which I think is awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to have that set up. <sighs> I literally can't stop yawning. <laughs> oh, I told them today, don't say the name. But um, I told them that we picked out a boy name that we both I can't really remember like. it. <laughs> All right, well, I was trying to remember it earlier. I can't remember it. You just said it. I can edit. Oh. <laughs> right. Boy, but what do you think of it? I love it. Yeah, you love it, right? Like, I think that's like our top runner, right? That's a boy, yeah. Yeah. Like, I would even go so far as to yeah, say, like. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that could be a girl's name. That could be a girl's name. Yeah, I could totally see what it. What were you going to say? I was gonna say, like, I, I would feel comfortable with cementing it, like, if we have a boy, I would name it that. I don't want, I don't want to go that far. Yeah, I know you need a little more. I've also been sitting with this name for a lot longer than you have, so, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've had time to really, like, fall in love with it and, like, I don't know, but, yeah, that's where I'm at, and I'm really glad that you like it as well. Now we just need a girl's name. So, also, I found a new gender predictor thing for the oh, ultrasound. <laughs> so, um, we have our ultrasound not this Friday, so not two days from now, but next Friday. And I found a thing on Pinterest that... <laughs> Do... What? Do not get yourself excited. And no, I won't. I know. yourself out. I'm not going to get attached. To... I know, like, these gender predictor things are, you know, until I get the blood test results... I'm I mean, not. that is why I was so resistant on early pregnancy testing, because I was like, if this is negative, she's going to, like, and if, if it was negative, I would have been upset. Early, yeah. I know. Because I know. But no, you. I know that these gender predictor kits are basically just, like, most of them are bogus, but, um, they're still fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I, I, like, I think it'd be fun to do, like, a video with them. Yeah, exactly, see how many of them are right. You better do that soon. We only got a couple weeks. I know. Well, you don't like get your results immediately. Oh, no? No. Uh, they have to send it off to the lab and get tested. <sighs> I know. It's going to stink waiting for that. But anyways, what I was saying is, um, so, you know, like the typical early ultrasound where it's just like a little circle is the baby? Um, depending on if it's implanted on the left or the right side of the uterus, um, it can also be like kind of higher up and lower down, but that doesn't really affect the gender prediction. But if it's on the left or the right, it, I forget which is which, but one's a boy and one's a girl. So that'll be really fun to kind of see what we come out with. I'm so excited. I'm still like, I still can't believe there's a little baby in there. It's weird. I know, it really is weird. And like, knock on wood, like a lot. <laughs> She's the time to stick that stuff Aww, out. Aw, your ting's sticking out. 
but like I just feel like all I feel is like extra hungry and extra tired but not even like extremely so like I still feel like functional more tired and hungry oh I, it's gonna just flip there's all I know something something's gonna happen. hit me yeah I'm like oh this is this is nothing <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's gonna hit me like a ton of bricks. And, and of gonna... course it'll be like Friday when I'm not here. I know. I'll be fine. We have. No, made... you're not. I'm so worried. We have provisions. We have saltines. We have Gatorade. Yes, but sometimes when you get sick, you literally like I don't know. I get. Nervous. That's why I got provisions. I got Gatorade, and you're I... gonna take your phone with you. Yes, I'm gonna take my you're phone. You're gonna carry your phone with you all the time. Carry the my whole phone weekend. with me the entire weekend. I will strap it to myself. Thank you. <laughs> I'm worried because I don't have phones. I don't have cell phone service where we're going camping. Mm. Well, my parents are very close. Becca's very close. I know. <laughs> I'm going to be fine. No, you're not. You're going to die. No, I'm not. You and come home and the dog's going to be like, ah! You know, you're going to be fine. See, I got the munchkin with me. The munchkin's going to take she's care useless. of me. I know. She's totally useless. <laughs> but maybe now that I'm pregnant, she won't be so useless, right? Huh? She's definitely been more. Well, more you'll be, we'll be, you'll you. be useful, huh? Yes. What do you say? What do you think about that? I say, I got this. She's got I two fluffs got this. So I get them. You got two fluffs on your butt. Oh, I see a fluff. Yep, that one. Get it. Did you miss it? <gasps> She's like I'm trying to lean on my hand, so I can't get it. <laughs> Dakota, what are you doing? I can't see it now. What are you doing? Get off me, mom. <laughs> get off my butt. Get off my butt. <laughs> All right, I surrender. What? Are we taking too long? Yeah. You want to go to bed? Yeah, it's your bedtime. See, guys, it's bedtime. I'm so tired. I so Oh, my God, that one got in. <laughs> All right, guys. Ew. Yeah, that one got... She got my tongue. All right. Ew. <laughs> We're gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave your gender prediction in the comments. I told them earlier to ah. tell me what they think it is. So leave your gender predictions in the comments below. Also feel free to leave name suggestions because we're obviously still thinking. So we would love to hear if you have a favorite name or yeah. So leave those in the comments below and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm.